welcome back once again, Guildmates. We're here, Fairy Tale Podcast. I have my happy shirt on. I totally forgot that I was wearing this. Yes, it is a happy shirt. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, sir, just to go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, so we are doing My Hero Academia. We've got, I am four chapters behind, and chapter the fifth chapter that I would technically be behind is coming out tomorrow. So we're going to... We're going to kind of run through this as quickly as we can. So right. we got about 30 minutes. I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly introduce all of us and then we're going to jump right into it and go through as many chapters as we possibly can in 30 minutes. And if we manage to get all four done, we'll read community comments at the end. Otherwise we'll record the fourth one at a later time. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we, if we have to, we'll record. We'll record the last two tomorrow or something. But yeah, we've got we've got a lot to catch up on. So let's just jump into it. So hi guys. Once again, I'm Richie. I'm Richie Roberts. I'm here with Cody. Cody Rock. Hi. And Steph, introduce yourself how you wish to be introduced because I don't know how to properly introduce you right now. Sure. Yeah. Um, hello. Um, I am Stephanie, also known as Starbot from Starbot Dubs. And I do bullshit. She does. She does indeed. And the beautiful part is I get to switch back and forth between the two of your icons when it actually <laughs> hopefully for time for you guys to be dubbing stuff. Maybe? I don't know. Everybody's kind of been staring at Cody's icon down here on my little verb screen. Uh, so, or not verb, Discord screen. And there's a lot of stuff that we'll talk about uh regarding that but later later we got to get through this so here we go back to the uh, uh, inspector gadget announcer kind of voice <sighs> here we go the man who's too fast for his own good hawks chapter 199 impromptu move operate new move operation crap i am i've read this before why am i already having trouble let's do this all right as before, you are Hawks, Cody. Okay. I'm telling you, you guys are too slow. For better or worse, this man resolves everything by himself. Apparently, when he contacted me, it was the first time he'd actually participated in the sports festival and nominated someone. <sighs> Apparently, one of the patrons at a bar in Cantina is out of control, so I'm headed there next. I'll leave the aftermath here to you guys. Thanks in advance. <sighs> I think this is also... No, this one's me. We sidekicks are generally just in charge of all the cleanup work. Hawks is just too fast to keep up with, after all. So that's why this way of doing things is the most efficient for us. If he slowed himself down to match our pace... And that resulted in more widespread damage or casualties. We'd never hear the end of it. Uh, uh, nope, never mind. I don't think that's Tokiami. I... But you know what? Running with it. During my workplace experience, I devoted myself to simply chasing after him. And the whole time, as he dealt with various incidents and accidents, I would handle the cleanup. And in the midst of all that, my doubts started to surface. I'm still, my favorite, my favorite quote from the dub, hands down with Tokiyami is, revelry in the dark. Still, still, I don't know why that's yeah. so funny to me. Why did such a man choose to invite me? Hawks. Oh, yes, that's, yeah. that's me. Yep. Uh, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, because we're both birds. Are you, burbs. burbs. Are you joking? No, I'm 20% serious. 50% 50, 50 of it was because I wanted to talk to, with someone from Class 1A. And to finalize all the media interview dates, okay? <laughs> About those little punks who attacked you guys, calling themselves the League of Villains. And, well, I figured if I had to pick... Well... <laughs> And well, if I, f I figured if I had to pick one of you, it would be the one who I thought could actually keep up with me. It's not one with a lot of promise, so I figured, why not that Birdman from the top three? He looks good. I also like this this flashback we get of the three of them because it reminds me of just how much of a punk 
uh, Kachan actually was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, damn. Yep. As, as I filled him in on the details of the USJ attack, I felt all this frustration boiling up inside me. I'm not your carrier pigeon, I thought. And so the week-long workplace experience session ended without a single... Uh, without me learning a single thing. Oh. How excuse you? Nothing special. Okay, so we're moving on! Yay! And then came the internships. He decided to take me in again. A lot had been going on at UA as well. You probably just want me to fill you in on all the latest happenings, right, Hawks? Do not look down on me, number three. Nay, number two hero. Oh, God. Sukiyomi's really going all out. Yeah, and he's got plenty of room for growth. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I love that look. That look that Hawks is. Uh, yeah. By the way, Hawks is now the number two hero. Uh, just to quickly catch you guys up. He is now the number two hero since All Might retired. Nice work today. Hey, Tokiyami. Come here, come here. I'll treat you to a little night flight. H Hawks, we've become one with the wind. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. Flying. God damn it, I love Tsukiyomi. By the way, the other 30% was because looking at you made me think, man, Tokiyami's wasting a lot of his potential. You see, the sky is a great place. You can get a bird's eye view of everything. Huh? I can, I'm not especially interested in nurturing the next generation or anything, but... What do you mean when you say I'm wasting my potential? It's great that you're putting in effort to cover your weak points, like short distance combat, but you shouldn't neglect improving on your strong points either. You're capable of moving much more freely. Look, take it from a fellow bird. If you've got wings, you should stretch them out and fly. There's no need for you to be confined to the ground. Okay, uh, so quick timeout right here. Just to just to give you guys a heads up, if you're current with the anime and where it ended in Season 3, you're about maybe two seasons ahead right now. There's at least three, possibly four arcs that have taken place between where we're at right now and where the anime ended. So you're not too far behind, just to let you guys know. All right. Back to the action. Now we go back to the training exercise. And so this is a this is a training session that's held between class 1A and 1B. And they are uh, versus each other. And I didn't explain this to you because I didn't explain this to you last time, Cody. But you know the Shinso, the kid that if you ask him a question, he can take over or if you talk to him. He can oh, no, take over. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're caught up on the manga. Okay, well, in yeah, that he's... case, Shinso, he was with Froppy and crew on Class 1A for the first round. And for the final round, he's going to be working uh, with Class 1B against Midor uh, Midoriya. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's going to be going on. Uh, Steph, just to kind of give you an idea as to what's going on, because they're looking at putting him in the hero course. So I like that he's actually part of the hero course and he's got some other stuff. He revealed some new abilities. It's pretty cool. All right. Your turn. <laughs> Black fallen angel. I like the sound of that. Let's see it. Yay. You get to be your Momo. What does Momo even sound like? Um... He's moving through the shadows. Yeah, kind of like that. moving through the shadows. He's charging at us alone a second time? Now that's unexpected. I can't believe he's gonna try and do the same thing as the first skirmish. <laughs> it's the opposite of the opposite strategy. And... Oh. Yeah, I think that's... I yeah. Think it's that's you, and then the Tokiyami, are you alright, is Invisible Girl. Right. So she's, I would say Toki, I, I would say that Invisible Girl is very basic as far as like the sound of her oh, voice. Oh, I know what I want, girl. Oh. <laughs> Invisible Girl. Not what I got, don't worry. I got that one down. With all the industrial piping in this arena, it's impossible to ascertain my location. 
Tokoyami, are you all right? See, this is so much better when you have a female voice. Uh, I should have just said Yao uh, Yorozu is very proper. That's essentially the the only voice stuff I can recommend. Very proper. She has that upbringing. Yes. Unikage Tokiyami, I shall bore straight through you. His target is me, his natural enemy. I bet that's what you're thinking, isn't it, Class A? I've been setting up this mental trap since before the match even began. Okay. Gaming hero, Vanta Black. Oh, actually, no, uh, that would be me. Scheming hero, Vanta Black. Grab. Grab. <laughs> this is my way of doing things. Okay, this is, she's, she's very holy, kind yes. of. Yes, I, I am aware, yes. You must re-examine yourself. Drastically. <laughs> that was too good. That was, that too, was good. too good. Okay, here we go. What? This is beautiful. Okay. This is... Oh, oh me. Uh, this is me. I, no, actually... The, actually... Uh, I've got my speed in this complex narrow stage. And since the umbilical cord that connects Dark Shadow to Tokiyomi... Tokuyami gets in the way, it's hard for them to move around. In other words, Class A has no means of catching up to me. Is that what you were thinking? Dark Shadow! Black Fallen Angel! It's good. It's kind of also, in a way, it's kind of good that we had to do this before. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, on three, we're all going to say he's flying in whatever voice you want. One, two, three. He's, he's flying! flying! There we go. Yay! Dark Shadow is always floating. And it's possible for him to move around while carrying me. Darkness is Dark Shadow's nourishment. Oh, no, wait, no. Darkness is Dark Shadow's nourishment. So I wrap him in my cape. And by opening his hands, his freedom of mobility increases. Then he just wraps me in his arms. Go for it, Dark Shadow! You shouldn't neglect improving on your strong points, either. My thanks, Hawks. So that's... Now I can climb even higher. Looks like Plan A is a failure. Oh, Yao Momo with that that intense look. Uh. Yep. Aoyama. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aoyama, use your navel buffet. Buffet. Tokoyami, keep flying around freely. Buffet. B buffet. <laughs> it's so weird how some words are pronounced. Cannot stop twinkling. Yeah, essentially. Cannot stop twinkling. We just have to change the shape of the shadows. Dark shadow, cover yourself with my cape. No, no, you're the. You're supposed to say you got it because you're dark shadow. You got it. And there we go. Done. <laughs> that's that's my machine gun sound effect. Good, so good to know. Brr, brr, brr. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> the shadows keep moving. At this rate, I. There he is. That's. <laughs> We're not even to the difficult words yet. Jeez. Hagakure. Even the most unexpected circumstances are within my expectations. And then you have a mushroom on your nose. What in the fuck's going on here? Well, <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell if you're talking about. I can't tell if you're talking. Hi, Toby. Yes, hello. Can you hear him whining? Yeah. Uh, That's proper good doggo. Can you see? Can you see him? Yeah, you probably can. Doge. Sorry guys, interrupting Doge. Uh yes. Yes, I hear such I hear deep. Okay, oh such such deep <laughs> oh my god. Such doge. Come on. Come on. You can jump over here. Good doggo. Good doggo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Toby, no. come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good doge. Okay. There you go. That is a doge. Okay, so let's move on. What in the flying foxes is happening here with mushrooms? Oh, God. As I thought. If everything starts lighting up, that means Kuroiro. Kuroiro. Kuroiro failed. <laughs> Kendo is still one step ahead. Plan B. I'll cover you in mushrooms. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> the Mushroom Girl, Chapter 199, end. And immediately we jump into 200 because that's how we roll. My Hero Academia, number 200. Wow, look at all that. Chapter 200, Resourceful General. Thank you for 200 chapters. From here on out, we're going even further beyond. Here's a celebratory peace sign. Okay, I would just like to point out that only two characters... Out of the six on this page are giving peace signs. And if we're going further beyond, that means we must be getting... I think this is I think this is a subtle a, a subtle nod and, a, and just a hint at future spoilers. You heard it here, folks. My Hero Academia, Buzz Lightyear is showing up soon. Buzz Lightyear confirmed. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear confirmed. All right, here we go. That's me. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, dude, we've wanted to know what the hell you look like for a long time. We have never seen her. Definitely thick. The ground's been definitely thick. Well, good good to know. The ground's been completely covered by this fungus. I can't see Kuroiro. I'm just... Yeah, no, my dotus, frondosa cone. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. Oh, she's what's her face? She's Peridot. Okay. Yeah. Tricholoma equestracham, Flamulina voluptuous, and Corpornosis astronomeritarium. Grow, grow, grow! We'll charm the world with my mushrooms! Mushroom, mushroom! Okay. Kinoko Komori. Quick mushroom. I know one of those words actually is mushroom, so yeah, I just. Kinoko, thank you. Kinoko. See, I, I was like, one of those is. I forget what komori means, but I'll get there. Uh, she, oh, she's a she mage. <laughs> well, she does. She does look like a mage. She does look like if Vivi, if Vivi from Final Fantasy IX was a mushroom. Uh, she emits spores from her body and can instantly grow mushrooms anytime, anywhere. The more humid it is, the further her spores spread. And her mushrooms grow more readily. She, oh God, Minetta! She can even make them grow from people's bodies. What is this? A horror movie? Her mushrooms all will all disappear after two to three hours, so there's no need to pull them off later. Because of that, she's got a bad habit of spamming them everywhere. <laughs> Plan A is to hijack Dark Shadow and launch a surprise attack. Black Vent! No, Vent to Black! I got that out! Thank you, Dyslexia! Oh, Lord. Here we go. <coughs> is this Mendo? This is... Yeah, this is... No, this is Kendo. This is the... This is... This is the chick from... This is the chick that's in charge of Class B. The one that's always smacking that ass hat from Class B in the back of the head and is like, quit being such a douche. Yeah, that's her. Oh, so she's chill. Yeah, she's chill. But that's she's also really is. smart. Oh, see, I'm super. I, I got this girl. <laughs> They're definitely going to send out Dark Shadow to scout for us. So this plane is both low risk and strong. I'm sure none of them think we can take control of Dark Shadow. So then, wham! We'll capture one of them just like that. An interjection, if I may. What if I fail? Doesn't that increase the risk for us? Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need you to do the Mushroom Girl interjection lol right there. Interjection lol. <laughs> if they're fighting against you, they will definitely use light. And using that light, the three of us will learn their location. Also, in bright places, dark power, dark fuck, dark fuck is significantly less powerful. Yeah, he is. <laughs> even if Kuroiro... Even if Kuroiro screws up, we'll surround them and hit them with everything we got. Kiroko 
ふ吹き出し、吹き出し。キノコ吹き出し。I'm counting on you. Time for plan B. A twofold plan? I'd expect nothing less. They keep growing one after another, is also you from Invisible Girl. <laughs> Everyone, remain calm. First of all, let's regroup. Bog blam blang, akaboom. Ooh. Actually, I think that was supposed to be your comic character, but whatever. I just did that one just for the funsies. <laughs> this is giant letters, manga. Fuki Daishi, Dashi, whatever. Quirk, comic. He can materialize onomatopoeias into reality. I'm on the ball today. It was like wham, boom. My heart's racing like shoom. Close enough. Fine. What? I said close enough. It was zoom, not boom, and shwoom, but close enough. Whatever. That's all I have to say about that. Beam! Put a scratch on it! There we go. I don't know why I made Aoyama Stewie, but <laughs> that's fine. Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. What? What is that? Jimmy, Jimmy? Uh, the bubble he's... Spinifier. Oh, sorry. Uh, the bubble he's spitting out is Jimmy, Jimmy, or humid or muggy. It's a humidifier! The mushrooms are growing even faster! Hagakure. Uh, Sugar Rush is you. Yeah, but at the same time, you gotta say, ooh, that's gross. I cannot stop no. twinkling. Me? Yeah, no, I cannot no, no. stop. He's, he's talking to me, and I'm just being obstinate. Uh, ew, that's gross. Uh, two ranged attackers. That's really tough to deal with. Also, how would those automatopias work in foreign countries? Man, I don't know. Just watch. Thanks to that wall, Yaya Rosu was separated from the rest of her team. Their brain was cut off. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, that's her. That's Kendo. Uh, all that's left is to attack with raw power, and we're done! A shield! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah! <laughs> Tong. She struck. Is that Yalu? Yeah, that's Yalu Rosu. That's Yamomo. She struck through a shield made of tungsten with ease. Itsuka Kendo. Yeah. Itsuka Kendo. Quack. Big fist. She can make her fists bigger, and as they increase in size, their power goes up as well. If I bring the match to my area of expertise, victory will be well within my grasp. I won't give you any time to think. That's not the only thing that she can increase in size. Her brain power goes up exponentially. Thought I was going to say something else, didn't you, you pervy bastards? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Toby. Hello. I'm, so I'm sorry, audience. This is terrible. I am I am severely underperforming. That's okay. Richie, yep. don't 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 pay me ever for this. <laughs> oh no! I, I mean, if these if these actually get to the point where they become popular and we're able to like stay stay ahead, they do go up on our Patreon. So, oh my god, maybe this will become a paid gig. I don't know. It all depends on how oh, well we retain an it. audience. That's what I'm saying. I don't deserve it. This is just a poor performance on my part. <laughs> and yet at the same time, yet at the same time, if it's funny, it'll bring in hopefully views. So. Yeah, Steph's kind of stealing the show here. I, I can't. Clearly. It's okay. Can't. It's okay. You know what? You, you go, girl. You go, girl. You go. My oo woos are superior. Oo woo! Your oo woos are superior. My oo woos. <laughs> All right. Well, after this chapter, I'm going to. All right. Well, uh, if you can come back, if you can come back, we'll do two more chapters. Yeah, at a later time after we finish this one that I got to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One. All right. She could create it. Oh, no. This is Yamomo. Are you sure? I think, yeah, the, in the in the top one, I think. I thought it was the. Or, or, or it's Tetsu Tetsu. I mean, it could be Tetsu Tetsu. Yeah. If so, uh, then you I'll go. Yeah. 
She created an advantageous situation for herself in no time. That's our kendo. We don't know if that was actually the best move. Huh? If Kendo separated Yaoyorozu from her team out of caution, then I think she's misjudged her. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. It's the Kendo eye? Is that me? That's Yaoyorozu, yeah. Kendo, I... <laughs> okay, the one talking in the flashback little piece right here is Kendo. Oh, okay. You have better grades and a better quirk than me, so whatever people would lump us together like that, I really couldn't stand it. I wouldn't show it, though. You're wrong. You couldn't be more wrong, Kendo. The truth is, I, even now, I'm still a fool, a novice. <laughs> and yet, to you, who would go so far as to say I'm better than you, I cannot afford to show you my pathetic side. Momo? Everything you've cultivated to this day. <laughs> <laughs> you were just complimenting her, and she goes, to this day. So, I was losing it a little bit. <laughs> everything you've cultivated to this day, everything you have, show it to her. My titties will rise to <laughs> I wasn't going there, but thank you. If she actually wanted to be uh, cautious. Hmm. Courteous. Yes, you should always be courteous with Momo. If she <laughs> if she actually wanted to be cautious of Yaoyorozu, she should have crushed her four-on-one with her entire team's power right from the outset. Okay, uh, this is Yao Momo right here. Are you sure? I think is. Oh, it oh, could. Is are you sure? Oh, it could be. It could be hot, icy hot over. Yeah. Always thinking and planning even under pressure or during times of crisis, is itself Momo Yaoyorozu's area of expertise. By any and all means, chapter 200, end. Okay, so before you leave, since you're basically going, which is sad because if you look at the first page on the next chapter, that's just awesome. <laughs> I, was, I get a fucking dick cannon. <laughs> no, it's a tit cannon. A tit cannon. Tit cannon. Tit cannon. Yeah, there you go. Cannon. She didn't summon it from her crotch. She summoned it from her chest. So really quickly, since we're since we're going to be ending it here for these two chapters, and we're able to do back to back chapters, maybe we can get caught up in the next couple of days. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts and opinions from the two of you on these chapters. So let's just start a quick conversation, and maybe this will take five minutes, and we can be done. Of the next two chapters? No, of these two chapters that you just read. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. On yeah. how I voiced it, or like... Or, no, what you thought about the actual chapter. We're reviewing the chapter. Oh, girl, I'm, like, so not caught up. I ended on the fucking hero killer stain. Like, I don't know what the shit's going on. Oh, here. my <laughs> God, you are super, super far behind. My entire thoughts. I'm going to give them to you right now. You yep, ready? Listen go for to it. Straight, girl. Pull up, turn up your headphones. I'm going to give you the reels. Um, I'm turning it up. Clearly, Hawks is the best character I've seen two seconds of him, and I'm already <laughs> in love with him. Um, well, Yaoyorozu's tits can never be beaten. Uh, <laughs> Invisible Girl is clearly the waifu of all generations, and if you don't like her, you're a coward. And um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to disagree. I'm just gonna have to disagree. I was gonna say girl power. Damn. Also, also, really quickly, really that quickly. Is my entire review of My Hero Academia. Thank you for coming to my Toby, talk. Toby is <laughs> best doggo. <laughs> Toby is best doggo. Yes. There's, that's a very, you know what? I want to rate it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 with doggo again. Oh quality God. boy. Quality good boy. They are calling you a good boy, Toby. I know you can't hear a quality Jesus. good boy. Yes. So he's are, oh my God. He, those are no, don't crawl into my lap. That makes you even more of a doggo. Uh, Cody, your thoughts on the, on the last two chapters. Yo, girl power rules, clearly. Um, <laughs> No, like I. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, and yeah, yeah, girl power, and I kind of echoing what uh, what Steph said about Hawks. He is he is best boy forever and always. I will dispute um, the Yao Momo's tits thing because I think that Suyu's tongue beats Yao Momo's tits any day of the week. You're a coward. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. You can call me whatever you want, but Froppy is best girl. That's just how it is. Coward. We all know Todoroki's the best girl. Get off my dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Todoroki best girl. Oh my god, that's Sundere, that's beautiful. Sundere, hot and cold. Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That having been said, though, guys, uh, uh, we get we gave our brief opinions. I I like these two chapters. I can't. I don't really want to go into much detail until we've gone further. But essentially, this was fun. I like seeing new abilities. I like getting introductions of new characters and new quirks and stuff like that. And I do like that they're unique. Also. Uh, how much, how much planning do you think was needed? How much quote unquote research do you think was needed to get those mushroom genus and phylum Latin names? That's, that was a mouthful when I tried to pronounce it. And then you, you just breezed through it and made me feel like shit. So thanks for that. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So guys, if you like this manga dub, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the manga dub, give it a thumbs down, but give constructive criticism. Don't be a troll. Don't be an asshole constructive criticism please that having been said if you like this content and you want to see more of it go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to know when the newest episodes are coming out because even i don't know when the next bit of content is coming up on the channel make sure to go ahead and hit that bell icon so you could get notified when the newest content is available that having been said if you like this and you want to help continue to support this stuff we do have a patreon it is linked in the description but i will also tell you it is patreon.com slash podcast but that being said, that is it for us. We will see you hopefully uh, very, very soon with more chapters coming up. I'm Richie Roberts. I am here with Starbot. <laughs> I don't know why you're whistling. My dog can't hear you. Uh, uh, and we're and we. He's a good, good boy whistle. Very much a good boy whistle, right, Toby? <laughs> he just looks over at me. Uh, you can't see him. He's hiding behind the Discord thing but yeah if you run this side they'd see you maybe i'll maybe i'll move you my stuff over to that side and you can sit here next time how about that toby you like that we're also joined by cody rock oh yeah i'm here and that's that is it for us guys we will see you later gators bye Peace.